Hello everyone and welcome to Team Chaverage. Today we're not playing any games, but I'm going to teach you how to install Lego Backlog. Well, it's not, it's not much of an install, it's mostly just the way things work. Uh, you can find my video on Jabberage Games, youtube.com slash Jabberage Games, and I've got a Lego Backlot video, it's a really fun game, and here we go, you can click download right here, voila, open in a new tab, and you can click download, download, and let's save it, oop, is glitching. Okay, downloads. And we put it in here. Now, if you want to uh, play this game, you're gonna need XM. XM, voila. Download it right here. XM for Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, it's all there. Uh, I need XM for Windows. Just install it like you install any other uh, program on your computer. It is quite a good program. Uh, it is also used for web development. Uh, we're just waiting here. So you download XAMP, you install it. I've already installed it, so uh, let's open XAMP. Uh, XAMP, okay, like that. I type it wrong here, it's spelled X-A-M-P-P. -P. So, once you've installed and opened the XAMP control panel, you're gonna want to start Apache. Watch out that it's on port 80. If it's not, there may be an error and you may have to uninstall or uh, you've done something that normal people don't do with their PC and a port is blocked. You may have to choose another port, and I'll explain that in a little bit if you have to choose another port. You can adjust config files for Apache here. You don't need the MySQL server, but I have it running anyways. So now that that is running, you want to go to your download. Uh, you can also do this before uh, your download, but you need to have XAP installed because this thing is gonna. Uh, put some files in your XAMP folder. So, what you need to do is open backlot.zip. You want to unpack it with, I use JZip, but you can also use WinZip or any other paid alternative. JZip is free and it is a very good thing. WinZip, not really recommended. I uh, only use it because it has its own file system and anyone who uses WinZip to, you, to zip anything uh, you can only unzip it with WinZip and that is not what you want anyways now that that has unzipped you want to use backlot and you want to click on installer.vbs you can play it without doing that I think but then you have to move the files yourself or anything so it's going to put it in CXMHT docs. So if you've installed XAMP on another folder, you may have to adjust this. But for me, it's the normal thing. I've already done it. You click OK, it moves all the files. It's OK. Once you've done that, you want to go to oh wait uh, i think this launcher does it for you it goes to no that is not what we oh yeah it goes to localhost and then backlot launcher.html that is exactly what you need oh we need to update our flash player apparently okay well while that is installing, I'm going to explain to you what you need to do if you adjusted this port. If this port is not 80, then you need to put the port that is instead of 80 right here. You want to put right behind, right after localhost. So if you have port, uh, it's preferably a port uh, quite high if you're choosing your own port. So you want to use like port... Uh, 
Well, let's let's say port 90. You do it like that. Like 90 backlot launcher of HTML. You don't need to do this if you haven't changed anything. It's only if you needed to adjust that port. Okay? So now that we've done that, backlot should be ready to go. Uh, you can leave any errors in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe to my gaming or my vlog channel. It will be in the after part and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!